Hey, hello YouTube and welcome to our channel with another video here. Uh, this is a little special footage we got here between uh, me and my friend here, Major K uh, Kukri. Uh, he's part of my squadron, which, by the way, <coughs> it's uh, open to options uh, for you guys to join. That's totally not advertisement there. Um, Anyways, uh, we were pretty much doing uh, formation flying. It wasn't really planned at first. We kind of just decided to do it. Um, so the coordination was a little bit off. Uh, but the idea was that we were going to carpet bomb the targets. And um, yeah, but here we got some nice uh, footage of some formation flying with F-100 and the F-80A uh, for you guys. Uh, some of you might be interested in learning how to formation fly. And the answer to that is, well... The slower plane leads, uh, the faster plane follows. If you both have the same plane, voila, who cares? Anyone can lead. Um, the point of that is so that you don't overshoot the target. It takes a lot of practice to get a grasp of, but uh, excuse me real quick. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume of the game just for the sole purpose of you guys being able to hear my voice and not the propellers of the aircraft. And I'm going to go ahead and move this really fast. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take off. I believe that's my friend right there. Let me check. Uh, this was a simulator game. Uh, this was not RB. This was simulator. Uh, so the controls are uh, very realistic. You guys will be able to see that in the cockpit view in a second here. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move up. So basically, he's flying around the airfield. Uh, I got my bombs. He has his bombs. And I basically told him, hey, I'm going to start flying and you go ahead and pass me up. That way, I can form up on you. You guys should be able to see him in a minute here. There he is. He's passing me up. Typically, this is how it's done in DCS when you have teammates. Uh, you fly formations. Not something that it's a necessity, but it's useful. Uh, if you have a target, the flight lead always keeps check, okay? The flight lead has to look around. He has to make sure that nobody's telling you guys. Uh, so it's not the easiest process, but it definitely um, it definitely pays off. For example, when you're doing carpet bombing on targets, you can approach a group of targets. And notice I have my spoilers. I'm controlling my speed just to make sure I stay with them. Uh, given that my jet is significantly faster than his, I have to make certain corrections all the time. That camera is not so good, but this one should be. Um, anyways, uh, at this point, I'm still kind of situating myself right next to him. Uh, this is a very nice uh, bomb load for that aircraft. So at this point, we're just flying towards the target. Uh, you guys will see that the target is this base right here. Now at this point, we're flying pretty stable, so. Um, anyways, with this, uh, with this approach to flying in, uh, uh, in a squad with your teammate, uh, one of the big benefits is that if your, if your flight lead has a target in sight, the two of you can coordinate in here. We're turning. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but yeah, we're turning in here. Uh, if you guys see, uh, that there is a target and it's chasing you guys, you guys can both break different ways or you can kind of like, uh, rope a dope. <laughs> Um, one breaks off to the side slightly and then the other one uh, sees who the enemy follows and depending on who the enemy follows you kind of just go from there you engage him vice versa uh, that sort of approach um, uh, him and I have never really flown uh, formations before this is actually the first time that he flies a formation uh, so I'm making sure that 
he's not going to make an abrupt turn. And at this point, we have reached the objective. And notice here, but uh, he was looking back at me, taking some pictures, and he overshot the target. So now he's just trying to locate. And at the same time, it's not the best time of day um, to 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 bomb targets, especially with uh, planes that don't have a HUD uh, system, such as an F-18 or an F-15. Uh, where you have a very nice uh, CCIP screen that tells you exactly where the bomb will drop and it, it tells you exactly where the target is. Well, the CCIP doesn't do that, but um, you're able to, to, to see better. You're able to see better. Uh, so it got to the point where I kind of broke off a little bit and I let him uh, kind of like find his target. So when he bombed it, then we went back into the formation flights and... After that, uh, basically what we did, I hope this video is interesting to you guys. Uh, if it's not, then let me know and I'll try to remake it at some point and just, it'll probably be better, but it's a relatively short video, uh, video I hope. Anyways, I told him to, to fly off for a little bit uh, so that he can find his target. And then once he got his target, uh, what we're going to do is actually going to go here where my mouse is. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and bomb some of those targets. He doesn't have any more bombs, but I have uh, my two drops left. So, it's still something I can do. So that's him right there. I saw a target here and I dropped my bomb right there. Well, it was really big. <laughs> and that was an easy kill right there. I actually killed quite a few ground targets there. I think I killed like three. Uh, currently six kills. Uh, this is like really far into the game already uh, because we've been playing for a while. Uh, at this point, I don't think I had died yet. Um... So yeah, anyways, uh, I noticed that there was a plane behind me uh, through the rear view mirror and I, I, for a minute I thought it was uh, friendly but then I realized there's no way because I just saw the other friendly. So I missed a few times but then I pulled my rudder to the left and I banked my plane downwards and, and I almost crashed there but I was able to save it. Just a little bit of honesty there. And at the end of the video, something very embarrassing happens. Uh, a little bit of a screw up on my side. Uh, again, uh, it was not as coordinated as it should have been. Uh, and this is the first time he flies formations. So he doesn't really know how to guide a formation. Um, but again, that's something that can be worked on by anybody. So anyways, uh, I saw that little prop, but I couldn't get a shot on him. And I decided to just let him go. I didn't really care much about him. Uh, I, I up here I was stuck in the cloud for a little bit and I was afraid to put my nose down too far because I have bombs I'm too heavy and if I go down too fast I might not be able to pull up so I was just letting the plane fly downwards it looked a little fast there because I sped up the video but in reality it took a little longer it took me like a minute to get out of that cloud and that's my friend right there that's Kukri Major Kukri Uh, he's going to basically help me line up, uh, or he's going to line me up so I can draw my bombs. Uh, I was kind of teaching him along the way as well. Again, this is his first time, so I was uh, I was doing a little bit of teaching. Uh, this was basically me guiding him. Uh, we're getting away from the target, basically. Uh, we're getting some distance, and when you're flying in formations, you need a much bigger distance. Uh, you need a few miles away from the target, at least five. Uh, that way you have enough time to turn around, line up, and react. Uh, it's better done in the day where you can actually see the target. Um, and it's it's not exactly daytime anymore, I would say. Uh, so, yeah. As you can see, we got some distance. We turn around. And this is something that's really incredibly useful for tank battles. Uh, I can show you guys a very good strategy that you guys can do. Smoke shells in tank battles, you can use them as markers. Uh, you can basically shoot the smoke shell at a target. And that can serve as a marker. Um, and then if you have planes flying in formation, you can have the formation approach that target and deploy a ton of bombs in there. Um, very useful, I would say. I don't know how practical it would be in a real game unless it was simulator tank battles and you had a crew of four, two jets or two planes and two ground. Um, but 
or I mean, what I was trying to say is, I don't know how reliable that would be in RB, but in Simulator, it would be a little bit more reliable uh, because you could do this sort of thing more um, with more uh, accuracy. Not only accuracy, but you're not getting shot at by an anti-air 24-7 or you're not having people spamming aircraft. And I think the target was there. I actually, I could not see the target for the life of me, so I couldn't make an effective drop. And I dropped my bomb there, but it didn't hit anything. Um, he didn't have any, but if he did have bombs, it would have been a pretty nice effect. Uh, and at this point, we're just going to go back to the base and I'm, I'm basically keeping track with him. Um, I overshot him a little bit there. Uh, but I'm keeping track with him and I'm telling him, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the base uh, and we're going to land. We're going to do a simultaneous landing, which wasn't a good idea, uh, given that this was his very first uh, time leading a flight. And the problem with that, the problem with that is that he won't know how to make the correct approach into the airfield. For now, for now, once he learns, uh, you know, this is something that will be just innate in him it's not hard to do it only takes a couple of times to to try and get your aim uh so i'm correcting his speed at this point uh i can't remember which one we're going to land in and at this point i'm showing off a little bit there i just did a crossover and i think i'm going to do it again i did it like a couple more times you guys can kind of see how that looks like uh but i'm focusing on keeping a straight formation with him uh, as close as i can i haven't flown formations in a little bit of time uh the last time i did it was in uh, DCS back when I had my squadron you guys can see how that looks uh, in one of my videos called uh, my old squadron and I uh, we used to be a, a very strong squadron in the DCS community uh, we only played in a couple of servers so I don't know how many people would know us from there uh, at this point I'm switching to his right side of the plane I'm switching between left and right it's just a little maneuver you can do uh, and I'm keeping formation as I'm doing that. So it's kind of like a little roll. You roll over the plane, kind of like that. Uh, and you maintain the formation. It takes some practice and it takes a lot of rudder uh, power to use. And <laughs> funny thing, uh, I have I have actually never done this uh, type of maneuver or this type of, uh, yeah, it's pretty much this type of maneuver. I've never done it with uh, an F-100 Super Saver or anything, really, anything that is um, older than an F-4 or an F-4. I didn't do it with an F-4, but I have never done it with something that's older than an F-4. Um, I've always done it with F-15s, F-18s, uh, Su-35s, Su-37s, uh, that sort of aircraft, modern aircraft. So obviously a lot more stable than doing it with a, with a very old aircraft like this. Um, it's a little harder to do uh, just because of the fact that the, for example, the Super Saver is very unstable. Uh, it's a very unstable aircraft um, at times. So yeah. Anyway, so at this point we're lining up uh, for the wrong way. I told them, see how far we got. This is the target uh, that we're going to land at. Um, we made a wide turn and we're basically lining up. I'm, telling him how to do it but there's a major 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 problem uh, he's using kilometers per hour uh, and meters and I'm using knots and feet as you guys can see here I'm using knots and feet he's using kilometers per hour and meters uh, this is a problem if you're gonna fly a simulator you both need to be coordinated in that same place especially if you're learning because right now I'm trying to tell him hey um, we need to get the plane down to 170 knots that's the target. That's the target landing speed for the F-100 Super Saber, right here, 170 knots, and that's perfectly doable. He's flying at that speed, but he did it way, way, way too fast for my F-100 Super Saber. This is something that we need to get distance, and we need to do it slowly. So I was trying to get information with him so we can land together. It'll look really nice for the video, and everything. But I totally forgot. I could have survived that landing. That was an easy landing, but I totally forgot my landing gear. <laughs> um, I was trying to keep up the formation, and I was trying to tell him, hey, do this, do that. And, um, it just complicates things a little bit. But uh, anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much what the video is. I don't know how you guys feel about this one. 
Uh, it's pretty much just formation flying. There wasn't really much action. Uh, if you guys want to see more formation flyings with two, three, or four jets in the future, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, up to you. Uh, dislike it if you don't like it. That'll be a big fuck you to my face. Um, but I won't take it personal, I promise. Uh, other than that, yeah, just let me know if you guys would like to see more content like this, just formations, uh, not just formations, but obviously if we do formations, we're doing it with a purpose. We're doing it with a purpose of providing air support. That's the whole goal of doing the formation. Uh, so if you do want to see more of that, let me know and I will get working on it uh, as soon as I can. Uh, I will try to upload whenever I can, as you guys know. Other than that. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys have a good one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Probably will be uploaded today, given that I don't edit my videos at all, but we'll see. Anyways, you guys have a good one.